those against say no. And then I hope the say no, ne who dee say no, Lingy and I say, eh, sad ye are bear, a bear man or no bear my da near the ad. A hun send me bear ba, I ain't ya some catua. Now a year over some George in the team and no more troll call parliament say, be away dear Jack or my sponsor, and yeah, dear dear my side in ye trim. Lingy and I saw most of Montias here, say, Usu be do to a sebe. Now, who do all them more? Chinchina yama, quine for Ben and Tiki Ditia and a bantama and the Mont General Montias, yes, sir. Ubi ti masho wa dem ayede wa ye. Stay yo ma pasi lu Ukraine. No. Ubi ti masho wa dem na o ye ni o ma bi apeso ye no problem. Ba sa sa apeso na ma na wo che che auto. Na se e ti me ma mo e kwen na se mo ye party ye ye beriye to onse ano ma omo se eno di omo ni enje hundo omo se mreti ya sadi ano. Na we ni kopi mo parliament omo design se mi hundo komo ache ye pa. Afina parliament ati na se amo ma yes those who again say yes who again say no and ye na ye ye na ne kusi ya ne se omo ji atu. Na kase yem president edine nsabe se sa akrata na beto maji yaltu muo parliament ewi. Anyway, yon ko parliament ni yon ko hedi e koso. Ebra na si yes ni 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 yes against say no. Honorable members, the eyes have it. The Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Bill 2021 is read the third time and passed. An act, an act to provide for human sexual rights and family values and related matters. According to A. Aben Babin, a way say no, say yes, no. Ubien wa utimi epijan and saka se me peneso and asa me peneso. Nes wudi a grand hair when nim ababe ye e graphic winen yen in nemunu ubiya e kan wasem ni pa e fenesam Georgia u di a di mutin tim mai. E wa ye o videos bi u wa wa din kom wafa sa di hun a de crop potin tia u suse sa di no e so mudji sambra ni tumuno. Yun ku tien ne bota e pa ah or start is an campaign we you know now we didn't come up. and for those who say why is some george interested in this yeah. i am absolutely not interested in what you do in the privacy of your bedroom it's not my it's not my business so then why why this why the it is because pe these same people have taken what is their private possession and are bringing it into my children's classroom not legon little angels I mean, what happened in the school not legon yes little, little angels what happened in that school they take somebody who calls herself an influencer and a so-called social media celebrity takes her to a school to sit with children aged 8 to 11 and tells them that it is okay for them as boys to love boys and girls to love they girls. did that here in ghana, yeah, in ghana not legal little angels which celebrity is that uh, call yourself deborah vanessa whatever deborah vanessa the medical ex no yeah i mean that's one love uh sister yes let's say that yes yes one love sister that, yeah. imagine I take. Mm. she goes and what she's doing is grooming she told this yes the video was there and they posted it on on instagram now the school after the backlash has taken the video down did the school seek the permission of the parents for that kind of education to be given to their children this is you see these are some of the things that are making me and my blood boil how can i pay fees for my child to go to school now these people think that their whole their whole life must be defined by what should be a private moment of this when you bring your privacy into public policy i have an opinion to and, share and for those who say why is i'm george interested in this yeah. i am absolutely not interested in what you do in the privacy of your bedroom it's not my it's not my business so then why why this why the it is because pe these same people have taken what is their private possession and are bringing it into my children's classroom not legon little angels i mean what happened in the school not legon yes little, little angels what happened in that school they take somebody who calls herself an influencer and a so-called social media celebrity takes her to a school to sit with children aged 8 to 11 and tells them that it is okay for them as boys to love boys and girls to love girls. They did that here in yeah, Ghana. in Ghana, not legal, little angels. Which celebrity is that? Uh, call yourself Deborah Vanessa, whatever. Deborah Vanessa. Vanessa. Medical's ex, no. Yeah, I mean, that's one love uh, sister. Yes. Let's say that, yes. Yes, one love sister. Yeah. Imagine I take. Mm. 
Mm. She goes and what she's doing is grooming. She told this. Yes, the video was there and they posted it on, on Instagram. Now the school, after the backlash, has taken the video down. Did the school seek the permission of the parents for that kind of education to be given to their children? This is, you see, these are some of the things that are making me and my blood boil. How can I pay fees for my child to go to school? Now these people think that their whole, their whole life must be defined by what should be a private moment of this. When you bring your privacy into public policy, I have an opinion to share. Uti ni buta ya, wasu wano washende mwene yiri yibibi ya, no problem. But a kwese, we mudi na kwese, ya mwomu hun to me, na omu enfambra, a yesu saiti mwune, na aswa di ben nanti mwune, na aswa di nem skusu mwune, wasi ya no, ene wuhuni se, ee, e nyadi ya bebwa, e ye gana, ye nkanko, inti obeshe mwara, ana aswa bine nko ufu mibri, na abe tim krata aswa, edi ya tia saadi ya 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 pesi ya bo hunde wuru ewo gane na enye nungkwa ni video wa yu parlementu wako hunwa che yi pa adichibi ya wakun adichibi ya wakun wakisa kwa shins ni ya di ade yonko tiye eni videos previous videos bi anseni ma basin bi anpesa mbili tuja so because mr speaker like it is attributed to robert mugabe if we put two men in a room and give them 12 years at 12 months to produce as an offspring, they cannot produce an offspring. And so, Mr. Speaker, we will continue to stand here. But let me use this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to celebrate Mr. Speaker, who has been a stalwart and a bastion for this bill. But for Mr. Speaker, this, this bill would most likely have been killed. Mr. Speaker has stood his ground and ensured that this bill has come this far. And I want to use this opportunity with the support of my colleague members of parliament, since we all support this bill to serve notice to the Western powers that we have taken judicial notice of what they have done to the Speaker of Uganda. After Uganda, after Uganda passed the bill, after Uganda passed the bill, the sanctions on the Speaker of Uganda's parliament and on the sponsors of those bills, we will serve notice as well that if they replicate same with our Speaker and members of parliament, we will also take action against their business interests in our country. Because they, they serve in this country and make money from here and take back home. They cannot hold us to ransom. And like has been asked on this floor, Mr. Speaker, why is it, why is it that the American Secretary of State has not sanctioned the Secretary of Defense? Because June was declared Pride Month and they had transgender parades. The U.S. Secretary of Defense blocked and stopped a transgender parade on a U.S. Air Force base because he said the U.S. Pentagon, which is their defense headquarters, would not support such activity. Governor DeSantis has passed legislation against open transgender parades in Florida. Why have they not taken on their own citizens? In fact, in 2022 alone, there were 433 actions in state house of legislatures across the United States banning and clamping down on homosexuality. The Supreme Court of the United States, SCOTUS, just last week, passed a landmark judgment enforcing the rights of American citizens to refuse to offer services to people on the basis of their faith and because they were LGBTQ. Mr. Speaker, it shows you that even America has realized the error of their judgment and are walking back their steps Italy, 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 Italy in June designated June also as Family Protection Month to counter the, 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 L, the Pride Month. Maybe that's something Ghana should begin to consider, that we made June a Family Values Month to celebrate the Ghanaian family value. But Mr. Speaker, in wrapping up, in wrapping up, Mr. Speaker, I just want to state that the dangers, the dangers, of homosexuality are great. Persons who are homosexuals or transgenders, per statistics from the CDC, have at least six times higher rates of obesity, substance abuse, and suicidal thoughts than heterosexual people. This has a consequence for our health bill as a country and, and public health, and we cannot turn a blind eye to this. I want to thank every member of this house who has supported this journey so far, especially the committee as well, in bringing us this far. Mr. Speaker, this bill will be passed to the glory of God. Mr. Speaker, this bill that they say the God we serve is a God of love. Yes, he's a God of love, but he's a God of justice. 
He gives forgiveness. He gives, he gives mercy to those who repent of their sins. He doesn't give mercy to those who stay in their sins. We are willing and ready to offer support to anyone who wants support. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the Old Testament and the New Testament are replete with Bible scripture. I cannot end without quoting the Bible. Mr. Speaker, the Bible is clear. In Leviticus 18.22, it says, Do not practice homosexuality. Having sex with another man as with a woman, it is a detestable sin. And for those who say that we are living under the dispensation of grace, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 to 10, don't you realize that those who do wrong will not inherit the kingdom of God? Don't fool yourself. Those who indulge in sexual sin or who worship idols or commit adultery or are male prostitutes or practice homosexuality or are thieves or greedy people or drunkards or abusive or cheap people, none of this will inherit the kingdom of God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In some way, and Wakaya, a bro, co parliament, na a fasa, a yet to mudi, whoa, or church and advent, a different one, and say, Yasam Ketua. It will rest some and any timid ye, or my or my genes, say, Boni, the moon for a soap man in see old Ghana ho. But ye pass him rani we, you know, parliament any more now, would think como, as you only media be ye, Juma, media in your form, Hunjim, when ye say, a your more sponsor be on Uncle. And a barber, yes, I say any ayad, you know, media in your form, no more the woo, a monk or four son take, and think of four one in first eye crying on person comedy or more as a bomb to a de first one. Continue to work with you going forward in the sensitization of the public. As sponsors, we once again want to reassure the media that you are partners in this battle and in this struggle. The intent of the bill has never been. To gag your chapter 12 rights we respect your rights to editorials but you and i all know that editorials are different from advocacy and so your editorial rights to issues on the subject of homosexuality issues on the subject of ghanaian family values would continue to be protected by us as sponsors and the constitution of the republic it is for that reason we introduced the additional consideration today just to give you that double assurance that subject to the 1992 constitutions chapter 12 rights of the media remain entrenched respected and protected for the avoidance of, doubt. For the avoidance of any doubt be they unintended or mischievous and so as our able allies we want to once again say a very big thank you that you have carried our voice amplified our voice and carried the nation along we know that per the cdd ghana's own polls 93 percent of ghanaians support this bill and support the work that parliament has done and we know that we couldn't have gotten that 93 percent support on our own but for the work that you the media have done in projecting the ills and vices of homosexuality and projecting proper Ghanaian family values. We'll continue to work with you to make sure that our children are protected, the innocence of Ghanaian children is not attacked, and that our cultural values are upheld and respected. Once again, you have our gratitude and we are grateful. We want to once again even say a very big thank you to the Honorable Osei Chayman Sambonsu who was very instrumental in the passage of this bill. You know, you know that the Honorable John and Tim Forjo, who is actually not just a member of parliament on the MPP side, but is actually a member of government by being a member, uh, the Deputy Minister for Education, is one of our sponsors. And we cannot thank Chairman Sabunsu enough for the fantastic work he did with amendments to make sure that this bill has come out well. We believe that the majority of the NPP side, I cannot forget the immediate past Minister for Environment, Science and Technology, the Honorable Dr. Efriye, who actually helped us to improve the definition of sex by adding chromosomal structure to the definition of sex. So there has been a massive support from the majority side and overwhelming support from the minority side. The House has stood united. We may have had one or two members 
who have expressed reservations, but that is their democratic right. We respect it, but the overwhelming majority of both sides of the house have supported this. In some say, and what kind of parliament, and the chile media, and in Kofuku, and Kuchu, and Mushiae, a bromo, a passe, be on Eddie, a Viano, in some way, and what Kabotimu are doing Chiraba. Be ya ya passi, ye only saying, we beat me to a drink rubber. Now, or cassa we, you know, ya tis aya, America phones with in Comoca cra, Eddie Afabil, you who are much less a Sasano, my dear, a almost obey a you who aid me, Sam, one morning, you may ye free Ghana ho, and son America phones with Chile. Could I take you to Africa for a few? Yeah. Uh, Ghana, I know there was a statement that you issued last night on the anti-LGBTQ bill. Um, just to follow up on that, if my understanding is that the president, uh, Akufu Addo, hasn't signed it yet, are there talks with Ghana trying to uh, try to stop this from becoming law? And if it, if it comes to fruition, is there a sense of, um, of what, what the repercussions, if any, could be from the U.S.? So we have made very clear what our opinion is on, uh, on that law. You can look at my statement yesterday, and we have made that clear uh, in private conversations uh, with the government of Ghana as well. I don't think I should get uh, any more specific than that. But if this bill becomes law, it would certainly have a chilling effect on foreign investment and tourism in Ghana. You've seen that. Uh, you've seen that same chilling effect bear fruit in Uganda, which passed a, a very similar law in the past. Uh, and I can say that, um, you know, should the bill pass, it would um, potentially have ramifications on uh, U.S. assistance in the, in the country. Sure. Um, just a couple more in Africa. Yeah. The American forces want to make you minim say, and another down quack of what the TV nuts will be to my side. Yeah. And no dear, eh, or no, no, assem. And I a gunner phone so young kind coins who hung here. Gunner phone so bind bones who hung here. Our coach and never value your own cake and so hung here. Obey, let's say, eh, you'll be found who di and a right, no, no. And I'm on phone so chess and you'll be so right in the super so come the power. When a mummy and woman soon come come the pay. We'll be so right in the so on super so if you two, Lubra bank, lose you to shoot. Now, on so eh, be our first carefully who never write, no, no. We've been so right, and they say because she acquired a cut to a lube control would be a mouth, pam, pam, pam. They were right, no, no. To see a seal right, right, dear, a month for a right, pa, mugu prison, and to also machine ye no moka. We on command call phone so eighty and so on. Now, we ain't no cotton, a year FM, sorry, joy FM, join, and I said joy news so. And I could dink or more, I will joy for a fifty cassier so. And yet, one of the world trendy, and yes, I'm cut because news we don't say fun home more. It's been a tough day for you, I can imagine. Well, we've been following this uh, from day one when it started. We've seen the back and forth even before the third reading today, uh, before it was passed into law. Uh, you had some issues with clauses 10 and 11. What were the issues? All right, so good evening to our viewers. Um, the media was our issue. The media has been our biggest ally in this battle. You've been a, 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 a reliable partner on this journey for three years. You've given us the opportunity to clarify portions of the bill that had been intentionally and maliciously twisted by opponents of the bill. And so we consider you our greatest ally in this journey. Going forward with the public sensitization, we would still depend on the media. However, we realized that the latest spin had been focused on clause 10 and 11 of the bill, which dealt with the propagation, advocacy of support for the prohibited acts under the bill. And the latest spin had been that we were introducing, reintroducing criminal libel law, and even media houses could no longer have editorials on the subject matter. And so we decided to say that, look, for the avoidance of doubt, we we'll put it inside of the bill that this is subject to the 1992 Constitution because the sponsors of the bill will, re will respect the Chapter 12 rights that the media has, the freedom of expression. Mm. But the media is also guided by ethics. There's a difference between editorials and advocacy. Editorials are informative and educative. Yeah. Advocacy are opinionated. And so... For us, we don't have a problem, and that's why we introduced that these provisions are subject or subject to the provisions of the Constitution. That phrase was introduced so that all the things in Clause 10 and 11 are subject to the Constitution, Article chapter, chapter 12 
of the of the of the of the constitution that deals with the freedoms of the media. Mm -hmm. Article 162, I believe, and all that gives you the freedom to express yourself. However, those freedoms are guided by your ethics. Okay. And that's why you would not advocate for something that is a criminal offense. That's why you would do um Joy, for example, before you started the show, you could have chosen to do an editorial on money laundry mm -hmm. or anti-terrorism, but your editorial will stop short of advocating for those things. Okay. And that's the simple point we're making. Here. Okay, so now it's been passed. Uh, yeah. Let's have an appreciation of what uh, the document actually states right now, currently. Uh, there's a three years uh, imprisonment bill uh, passed. There's five years, I mean... What exactly does the document okay, state? I, I don't have the, the document. I mean, here, just but, highlight but, of yeah, it. Um, I think that we, we have three categories of offenses, or four, actually. Four categories of offenses in the bill. Category one is where we criminalize the acts on, of homosexuality, lesbianism, gays, transgenders, and all of that. That is, is, is considered, if you're found guilty by a competent court of jurisdiction, you can be subjected to a fine of, I think, not less than 750 penalty units okay. and not more than 2,000 penalty units, I think. Or a jail sentence or custodial sentence of six months minimum, maximum three years. Or depending on the facts before the court, a combination of both. So that's one offense. The second group of offenses are for persons who propagate, okay. advocate, and spread the criminal offense of homosexuality because it's been criminalized by the act. Okay. Now, even that is broken down into two categories, those who, the gen who do the general and those who do targeted at children, persons under the age of 18. Now, that comes with a, f a, a, a prison sentence of a minimum of five years and a maximum of 10 years. Okay. Then you also have persons who fund, willingly fund such prohibited activities. Mm. They also have a punishment that is five years to 10 years. Then you have a fourth category of persons who carry out extrajudicial treatment. Mm. Who, because there's a duty to report that if you see this, you report to lawful authority. We've defined lawful authority to include traditional rulers, members of parliament, and all of those. Now, you either report to them, but if you fail to do that and you carry out extrajudicial treatment, mm -hmm. that's where people lynch persons. You can go to jail for between six months and three years. Okay. So the bill itself takes care of extra duty. So those are the four various regimes that I readily remember uh, are stated in the bill. In some only two ja ewa joy, so ena a jawa sugusua, wakwa ku tea and need when ni awdi a she. Nese a bill no de or many a passe. And wa chili ma the crop tia and into dear dinner nim tinti my pa. But I yen news are trend ya kwechi France if we need dihun komo, and wako France for channel or swa, or mu dium komo se gana anti bi anti anti lgbtq plus bill no ma personal which is a nya de be boa ami o mu di ho komo e wo all the social media handles no bia e che na adwene e wo ho e yenko france nsun ku ti de france fo so o mo so kind we can now bring in france for the international affairs editor philip turl philip what is the reason for this law Okay, well, um, this law, I think, shows a certain hardening of the stance of uh, and a shift to the far right, basically, in Ghana, which has come f after calls from uh, religious groups, Muslim groups, uh, Christian groups and traditional uh, religious groups in Ghana uh, following the uh, introduction and then closure of the first LGBT centre uh, in Ghana a couple of years ago and then arrests of more people afterwards. Uh, this new law uh, is making it much harder for gay people to live normal lives in Ghana, not that they were able to do that beforehand because already they faced uh, three years in jail uh, if they were caught uh, having uh, sex, for example, together. But this has made it much harder. Now, under this new law, anybody uh, who is identified as LGBT or 
if you know someone who is LGBT and don't denounce that person to the authorities, you can also face a jail term of at least three years. Second point, five years in jail for funding LGBT activity. That's all to do with associations uh, and other organisations. And then 10 years in jail uh, if you are part of an LGBT advocacy campaign for children. So it's all quite bad news for uh, the gay community uh, in Ghana. We've seen a tightening of the bill already, uh, which now looks like it's going to go through and be signed by the president, who said that if the people of Ghana want it uh, to be promulgated into law, then he will sign it. Francis Francois Chiro Magene, I mean, I'm not going to lose, you know, I have to be digested. Yeah, I'm not digested, because when say, say, I need the inconform, I'm not going to lose, Senior man for me, but the in Parliament to climb me, say, if you shall want to be because one to a and what thing. Now, oh, yeah, no, or call a lot of fortune or be so on for new central or quarter new central and on Mobusan questions one on one a busan a bill on a whole and some linea. Ura Sam George et Nancy D. T. and in Yana Modin and so and in some a two jar. Do all care chat winning and so say or no dear a new problem with Sadi now more your name woman or say a Benny Permuni dear and then I was saying the Pamara and no money did. Uh, I'm going to go straight uh, with the reactions because yesterday we did talk about this bill and um, there are indeed conversations uh, still trending concerning this particular bill. Now, you have been at the forefront to ensure that this bill is passed. But just a few hours after that bill was passed, um, a spokesperson for the United States Department of State, that's a Matthew Miller, has come to say that the United States is deeply troubled by the passage of the legislation. Uh, and he's saying that this will indeed... Um, uh, affect a lot of persons who live in Ghana. What's your thought on uh, his statement, especially looking at the fact that he's saying it could also hamper freedom of speech for Ghanaians? I'd expect Matthew Miller, Miller to respect the tenets of democracy, and the entire United States government needs to bear in mind that Ghana is a sovereign country. We are opposed to cultural imperialism. Just two weeks ago, the U.S. Department of State, when called upon to intervene in Israel, the Israeli campaign in Gaza Strip said that it was not the position of the U.S. Department of State to intervene in the local matters of sovereign states. Ghana is not the 51st state of the United States. Ghana is a sovereign state on its own. The sovereign parliament of Ghana has passed the bill and I think that Matthew Miller should be more interested in the light, loss of life of Americans' children in American schools to gun violence. Are they concerned, State you know? knows where it matters and not where it doesn't matter. They're not invited in Ghana's local politics where our parliament has passed the law. Flowing from, you know, this question my co colleague has asked, are there concerns about how this might affect relations between Ghana and America? Also, uh, are there concerns about pushbacks, not just pushbacks, but um, seeing exactly how, you know, Uganda was treated in some measure after they had passed their bill. Are there concerns that Ghana might face uh, that same treatment? Well, Ghana is a proud African nation, first country in the sub-Saharan Africa to gain independence and lead the light for the rest of Africa. I expect the leaders of our country, the president of our country, to stand shoulder high and tell the American people, you either do business with us on our terms or you can walk. American businesses that operate in Ghana are not in Ghana because of LGBTQ. They are in Ghana because they make a profit. If you're an American business working in Ghana and you turn $100 million in profit every year, if you think that because we are protecting our cultural values and saying no to LGBTQ, you want to lose $100 million in profit, Pack up and go. Another company will come into Ghana and do business. Ghana is a fertile ground for business. Look, Africa must begin to assert our rights. We, we are not puppets and stooges of the West. Look at Uganda. Uganda's economy is not as big as Ghana's economy. But per the Economist Intelligence Unit, the EIU, the 2024 report, Uganda is going to have the sixth fastest growing economy in Africa in 2024. And it's just the sheer hypocrisy of America and the West. Doing business with Saudi Arabia and doing business with Qatar. Qatar spent 22 billion US dollars hosting the World Cup in 2022. 18 billion out of those 22 billion went to American and Western businesses. Qatar buys about a billion dollars of, of military hardware every year from America. The punishment for, for homosexuality in Qatar is death. Nigeria passed 
a same-sex marriage bill as far back as 2015. In fact, your bill is more punitive than Ghana's bill. In Nigeria, the punishment in your law for same-sex marriage is 14 years in prison. The maximum in Ghana's law is just three years. Has Nigeria's economy collapsed? Has Uganda's economy collapsed? We need to begin to stand. The American economy would not run and the Western economies would not run without African raw material. I think it's time we begin to look at adding value to our own raw material. Why should Ghanaian cocoa and Nigerian cocoa be traded on the New York Stock Exchange and not on the Ghanaian Stock Exchange and Nigerian Stock Exchange? If we begin to assert ourselves, these guys will know that they have to deal with us on, on, on equal terms. They're not doing us a favor. We're doing them a favor. The best doctors in the United States medical system are Ghanaians and Nigerians. The best economists on Wall Street are Ghanaians and Nigerians. They're not better than us. We sit in the same classroom with them and beat them every day. Academically, intellectually, we're better than them. But it's simply because we've not asserted our rights as Africans, because we want to go for cheap hand-me-downs. And I keep repeating, the IMF and the World Bank are banks. Banks operate by giving loans and making profit of the interest of those loans. So they should not threaten us. I mean, a bank should not be threatening the customer and saying, I won't give you a loan if you don't do what I want. If I don't come to you for a loan, you don't, you don't, you don't turn a profit. And so our economies are what run those multinational banks. And until we begin to assert ourselves and begin to trade more amongst ourselves, Ghana should begin to buy more rice from Nigeria, and Nigeria should begin to buy more salt from Ghana. We don't need to be going to the West for this. That's yeah. our problem as Africa. Okay. Um Honorable Sam George, talk to us about why it was important uh, for you to champion this cause and for this bill to be passed. And I ask this because we hear a number of people who would say, and, you know, the same thing was said here in Nigeria as well, that there are other challenges that our countries have faced. And why is it important that the rights of people who are, you know, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and more, and why is it that these LGBTQ plus people are the priority as opposed to all the other issues bedeviling the nation? Well, Parliament is considering a lot of other, several other bills that we are doing, and we'll deal with everything. But let's bear in mind, the people who lose their identity have lost their, their nation. The European and, and American co communities and, and society have failed because they've redefined family. They've lost the sense of what it means to be family. And that's what they want. It's that kind of mental aberration and mental disorder that they want to import into our, our, our countries. You cannot continue to deal with cultural imperialism and say that it is a secondary matter. Our identity as Ghanaians is a principal matter for us. And that's why we've pushed this bill. Because look, the Ghana AIDS Commission in 2021 spent $200 million buying antiretroviral drugs to take care of HIV AIDS for people who chose to have sex, men who chose to have sex with men. And so the government had to spend $200 million. Now, do you know how many school buildings in my constituency $200 million would have built? Or how many hospital beds that would have created? And so when somebody says that it is not a pressing issue, it's because they, they don't understand the full effect of homosexuality on, on society. We're dealing with getting enough beds for our women to have to give birth when, we, when they are pregnant. And we should now begin to divert those resources to stitch up the backsides of men who have chosen to go and have sex with men when they begin to have anal tears and anal wear, uh, fat, what, what? I mean, why should we be spending resources on that? We should be channeling the resources into areas that we need. Go and check the American system and see how many people are committing suicide because of the effect of homosexuality. The CDC says that homosexuals are 400% more likely to be suicidal. Do you know the effect of suicide on the GDP of a country? Do you know the fact that the, the, the young man who walked into a school in the United States three months ago and shot up 22 kids was transgender? And this all came from a mental disorder because of him having undergone uh, a gender change or gender reassignment when he was eight years old? I mean, well, is this that's... what we want to bring into our society? I, I grew up in Nigeria. And, and, I knew, and, and growing up in Nigeria, I could walk to my neighbor's house and have a meal with them. I did, my parents were in scared when I attended Command Day Secondary School in Oshodi at Nafrik Barat. They knew I was going to go to school and come back. They weren't afraid that their son was going to get killed by a child who has been affected mentally because he's transgendered. 
and kids in my constituency in Ghana today go to school, play on the way back home, and their parents are safe. Their parents are able to contribute to Ghana's economic development because they know their children are safe. We're not going to... Look, just look even on the African continent. Which country has the highest crime rate? South Africa. Why? Because they've embraced homosexuality. It's one of the growing factors in that country. Look at every country that has embraced this and look at what has happened to their crime rate. This has ripple effects on society as a whole. We're not going to import the sickness and, and, and troubles of another country. We've got enough on our, on our hands in Ghana and in Africa. All right. Uh, let's, let's look at the role of um, media influencers, social media influencers. Um, uh, they've also been at the forefront beating the drum uh, for supporting the LGBTQ plus uh, community. Uh, does this law in any way touch on the freedom uh, to canvas for the community, either on social media space, as we've seen, that's quite uh, proliferating. It's everywhere. We see it in acting. We see it in glamouring and so on, even in mansions and so on. Um, does this law touch on any aspect of that for influencers in Ghana? Absolutely. We've gone, we've gone after all technological and media platforms and said that you cannot use technological and media platforms to propagate stuff that is illegal in Ghana. So com companies like DSTV, for example, will have to be careful about the kind of movies that they show in Ghana. And Ghana is not going to be the first country where they do that. that. We're not going to be the first country where we're going to say the kind of content you show on TV must be censored because this is not allowed. In, in, in every other country where they choose to protect their cultural values, there are things you cannot show. And, and for social media influencers, you cannot, be, you cannot be a social media influencer and creating content that is, that is contrary to the laws of the land. For example, Ghana has anti-money laundering laws. We have anti-terrorism laws and anti-vigilantism laws. You can't be a content producer right now and say that because you're a content producer or a social media influencer, you're producing content that promotes money laundering. The law would deal with you. So if we've passed the legislation that prohibits LGBTQ advocacy, and in fact, if you look at our bill, the punishment for advocacy is the strictest punishment in the bill. It's, it's more, it's, it's, the punishment for advocacy is higher than the punishment for the act itself because we want to protect the innocence of our children. And so everybody's going to be compelled to comply with the law. You either comply with it or you leave. Are there fears that this might in some way increase some form of you know, discrimination or extrajudicial treatment for people who, who are living or who are LGBTQ+. And I ask this because sometimes there isn't a surefire way to determine who a person is just by looking at them. And, you know, there have been people who are, for men who are effeminate or women who are more masculine, and, you know, some would argue that this might make them become targets or have targets at their back. So is this a con concern that, you know, Ghanaians should be worried about? Well, for the first time in Ghana, we have a legislation that protects the fundamental human rights to a fair trial of persons living with LGBTQ. I'm not going to run and play the ostrich and say I haven't seen instances where persons have been uh, assaulted in an extrajudicial manner because of uh, uh, um, accusations or allegations of them being members of the LGBTQ community. But when you read this legislation, we actually impose, I think in section 19, 18 or 19, we actually impose a punishment of up to three years on anybody who carries out extrajudicial treatment. So if you suspect somebody is guilty of falling foul of the law, the person must have their day in court in a competent court of jurisdiction with a lawyer of their own choosing. You cannot on your own decide that you're going to beat the person or lynch the person. If you do that, you'll go to jail. And that's what this law does. So this law... Is a very balanced law that seeks to protect, protect the fundamental human rights of persons, all persons, all manner of persons, because strict proof must happen in a court of law. And let me state this fact for, for emphasis. We are governed by the 1992 Constitution of Ghana. That is what gives us law in Ghana, our 1992 Constitution. The 1992 Constitution gives everybody rights, but your rights are not absolute, including even the rights to life. That's why the government of Ghana through the courts, can curtail your life by sentencing you to death. If your actions are inimical to public health, public safety, and public morality, these are the three grounds in our constitution on which your fundamental rights can be curtailed, including your rights to life. So if we're talking about public health, 
public morality and public security. I've told you what the effect of LGBTQ is on, on public health and public health delivery, as well as public morality. And so the framers of our constitution were very important, were very concerned about the morality of our country and the moral fiber of our country. If you read Article 39 of our constitution, it actually imposes a duty on the state to ensure that the proper moral fiber or, 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 or proper social cultural norms are integrated into the moral fiber of the state. And so people have a fundamental right to a fair trial in a court. So if you're a member of the, if, if you choose to be a member of the LGBTQ community and carry out an illegal activity, one thing I can guarantee you is that you, you're entitled to a fair trial in a court of law. Your right to practice homosexuality is not a fundamental right. It's not a human right. There is no right in Ghana's constitution and I'm yet to see any right in any international legislation that confers a right on people because of their sexual preference or gender identity. There is no international law as we speak today, including the UN Declaration on Human Rights, that gives a right on the basis of their sexual preference. But let me be clear on one last thing. As framers of this bill, we're not interested in what anybody does in the confines of their bedroom. I got, I got woken up this morning by a call from your producer. I was in my bedroom, respectfully lying by my wife. Nobody's asked me what I did with my wife, and it's nobody's business what happens between me and my wife in my bedroom. But when you decide, as an individual, to bring what is supposed to remain in the privacy of your bedroom into public space and begin to advocate for your personal proclivity, then public policy will apply to you. And so nobody's going into anybody's bedroom. But when you did decide to bring what ought to stay in your bedroom into the public space, then we'll have a public conversation about it. All right. I'm sure I, I wish we had more time so we can um, talk more on this. Of course, the impact on children. I was well, also whether you talked about how it affects children and so on. But um, hopefully we'll get to bring you back um, and um, we'll find out once the president puts his pen to paper. And that would be a good time to have you join us again. And let's Will that happen before uh, the elections? you see that happening before the elections? Yes, per our constitution, within seven days since we passed the, after we passed the bill, and we passed the bill two days ago, it has to be transmitted from parliament to the office of the president. The president has seven to 14 days to accent to the bill for it to become law. If he chooses not to accent to it, he has to write back to parliament within seven to 14 days, stating why. He is refusing to assent to it. And then as sponsors of the bill, we have multiple options available to us. We can use to decide to use public pressure to uh, compel the president to retain his decision. Or my favorite position is to bring the bill back to parliament for a public vote, an open public vote per the standing orders of parliament. If I'm able to get two thirds of the members of parliament to vote in favor of my bill, the president can keep his green pen it will become a law without the president's signature. It becomes law if I can get two thirds. I'm confident that we'll get two thirds because when we had the vote in parliament, there was not a single vote on the record against this bill. And I'm confident that 275 members in Ghana's parliament, I will get more than two thirds to support my bill. And I mean, the, the, the various authorities, the National House of Chiefs, have indicated their willingness to, to stand with us and compel the president to sign this bill. The Ghana Christian Council and Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Churches Council, the National Chief Imam's Office, and, and the Council of Traditional Worshippers have all stated the desire for the president to sign this bill. The president must remember that he holds power and trust for, for the Ghanaian. And when people say it's all an election year, I wonder why that's a problem. The president is still bringing us loan agreements in an election year. We are signing them for him. So there should be no problem in an election year for him to sign something to protect our, our cultural values. Honorable oh, Sam right. George, there, there are many angles to this conversation that I would love to take, uh, but hopefully we can have you again and you grant us another interview so we can delve further into the details of any this day, any time. Thank you very much. And Sam said, we are Sam George, a G2, a minimum wagon, a minimum after a set bill in a passing year, and you all call other social media handles as well. And in that Ura Sam George, a or Jen Homina, who post two articles, you cry or what? Not any as I'm Ketua. I US four, and so a decrat, a barber to a bontine. Now, who tied the US four, and as America four, no, a eka, a or more a beer, a gun, a passy, or more say. I am saddened because some of the smartest 
uh, most creative, most decent people I know are LGBT. The bill Parliament passed takes away not only their basic human right, but also of all Ghanaians because it undermines their constitutional right to freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, and freedom of the press. It will be bad for the public order and public health. If enacted, it will also hurt Ghana's international reputation and economic and Ghana's economy. And the way I am a US embassy, and I say US embassy, I work Ghana, and so at the two, and almost supposed to two are one thing. And then I am supposed to net rating the cost of people, be a far from an hour post to be so far known as what treaty. Emma Ura Sam, a year George, and so I bet treating it there, and then I treat in it cost for more treaty treaty. Oh, what Sam George say, after three years, after three long years, we have finally passed the Human Sexual Rights and Family Values Act 2024. I am grateful to my colleague sponsors who have waged this battle with me to a successful end. Our collective gratitude goes to our leadership and the right honorable speaker of the of their guidance and leadership. Our values will be protected and defended so long as we have a voice for God and country. We are some and so do also a liberto. A ye ja and so on to gana for this ye be or so and so chill my journey a fast as me who a be back on a din a friend or a see me run see me run a co a year America for or a US embassy for post that's no country or say a LGBTQ plus right a human right and I feel unsafe in my country or my own country please do something before we die I need to be in USA for my freedom. Into a more more so can't say you may die on so as that you born crata. I call a various platforms so such as a woman yah that Jana so much sure. Into a corona me for a month free. Yes, I could move on. Call a year a corona more person and your man so we are commenting call for at the air banner. Samson sister Debbie Deborah. On the bar bond thing was the passage of this bill will fix rules, build hospitals and schools, ensure that there is potable water in every. Community, clean all the uh, polluted rivers, stop galamsi, provide jobs for the Jews, solve their plastic pollution means, take the case off the street, and also solve light of issue. And the way a Deborah and so do a little bit too, no, Kuboru Niano, then the one was three or six a more passy idea, and yes, was it, and your mom moved from our Ghana, Nina Ebbe fix it. Now, uh, the Ebbet Mia can say the idea, say, um, and another than Quacko for the Sasha CC Kim. Na America for she the idea que na M Y said the uncle for starting a call mu page so a church or comment no. And kebe ya uncle mum fair flight back on. O mum fair flight back on uncle mum from Brag Ghana. And then o mua o mu ya side no mu ni save o Ghana no. And me sure say o mu bit man mu o mu asalam siki o mu kurum. It could be all over the world there. It be as I see me. Eh, don't make come as soon as you say, say, or pursue a final tour, ne, barb, and tennis, and no man, your man, or much church, and eh, you know, eh, who say, eh, be hard, general, eh, and your bat, omit me swam almost our right in Womukrun, so, say, be a France form of the flight aba, America form of the flight aba, eh, say, Germany form the flight aba, eh, could be a more person or more boss, I didn't want to be a flight, eh, they are basic cotoka, and then you do a yak cotoka before a bear departure near a check auto, so, oh, ye be ampa. Near the West Supreme Nanka do come here, so I think a bad sir. Anyway, Ghana for me be naturally say, Oh, my side in it is only a safe. Oh, Ghana, minimum wide inch. Obey to me, don't swat in China, but be dean at the corner about what in. Medassi. Hello, I was here for so Percy features right short of four day, and then enough for Hoka Dom is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening, I will two paces from Quan. Sir, what did you choose? Say, I'm more seen a year fitter. Now, a year fitter, no, so no. Na a G and Carboni beer were no mobia. Any tea stains, coffee stains, smoking stains, si beer were no mobia. Unique laser whitening product. A beginning in every summer, come a come a. The old yan is said, Ubetuso. Now, Udi a goo or brush and so. U, we are now the teacher was sending swing in a come a. U, we are. And who were no gen were no musa. Into contact unique laser whitening. I was zero seven nine. Nine nine seven nine two three three zero zero seven nine 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 seven nine two three three zero unique laser whitening or say muni says Penny for se bibi wi ase tine da ni atopno na ne papa ne fo nti e wo se mo bambo ho hia na ne papa mu die pro technologies ana me kan fa ma wo ane pro 
technologies. We are specialized in both sales and installation of CCTV cameras. Yet on SI install CCTV cameras in the sour gun and NASA brochure. Now if you gun, now pursue a CCTV camera installation. We need pro technologies and in sour so we CCTV camera installation, electric fence, automated gate, access control, video doorbell, and our intercom, and our satellite TV, home theater, so we pay biato, and our to and our perceba install them out. Pro technologies and our self fry. So, say if you didn't name for America, but you may be sent for Pam Napadia. Men, you know, none of one suit that form. Let's say you know the web which memo any branch or Ghana. You know, bravo brain into sick of fire and same. Say if any of your Padima or Ghana would die. Da Nanya Tennis, yes, general construction. So we brought you not so if you are Ghana, a day plan be up so see. So I shall see that and now fit not so see. Plank beer, you be see a and let you so here solar power and now bamba once and send the idea. When you need so, you are sassy a smart home. A pair from video be up a set, it will fear and now a chuba more de mawo. When you need so, so we are just a call away. Near Sansu are there de mahine and now Fred Rochebe do Ghana. Now open full house, room and now apartments are high for short term and now long term. You be more be any border for now bamba once and dear man, you know, and now you interior decoration. So as if you know, and now you still feel a mouth. Yes, sir. The question the best is you'll be an officer at the amount. And register what don't feel you now. Who could have first install it? And none is certain. Yeah, be at the amount. Oh, Ghana, Uber who yang, when we're off front, then tell Edward Yacha Dodoa, Uber who yang, oh, Ashi, Yeni Emily Pharmacy, and what the same building for information or what's up 401 75 70 300 and a plus 401 69 92 254. Pro Technologies, we have the solutions for your security and home. Entertainment needs at affordable prices. I don't know.